It's day two in Manchester and the turn of dinner party pros Ruth and Martin to host. But some minds are still on last night. Don't think the food went down as well as we'd hoped. I mean, we, we had the rest of it for breakfast today, so we I thought it was it. really nice. I think if you were to ask what the opposite of last night would be, it would be tonight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm looking forward to eating their food. <laughs> yeah. Tonight we're hoping to put together a romantic evening, I think, with some nice food. We're going to pair each course with the wine. Hopefully it'll be a lovely romantic evening. First up, it's the starter, a duo of pâté with Melba toast. She's played it safe there, cos you can't go wrong with that, can you? Everyone loves it. I hate pâté. Worst case scenario is, like, various meat and fish pâtés. Yeah. We're going to make um, a duo of pâtés, so two pâtés, a mackerel one and a chicken liver one. I think the whole idea of eating a chicken liver is slightly weird. Ugh. It reminds me of hospital. Well, that's not a good start. Ruth fries the livers with the bacon and onions, then blends with butter. No Chianti, though. Think of all the livers and the butters. It's like awful. It's awful spread. Yes, served in cute little heart-shaped bowls. And pâté number one goes in to chill. For the mackerel version, they blitz the fish with cream cheese, creme fraiche and seasoning, then pop away for later. Melba toast is just stale bread. But it's still nice with pâté on it, though. <laughs> but if she makes it bread. from scratch at home, isn't that just toast? Yep! Moving swiftly on, indulgent chocolate cheesecake for Pud. Yawn. That is just yawn to me. Yeah. Like, chocolate cheesecake, that's like what I make for, like, Friday big day at work. You should have made that last night, then. First up, Martin tackles the chocolate. Just break it up into little pieces, not the whole block. Smaller, don't, little, don't, pe little pieces. Don't worry, don't worry. Do you want to put the water on? You need to turn it on, yeah, so it melts. This just looks delicious. I could smother it all over your roof. It looks lovely. Martin! Looks a bit like fake tan, this, do you think? <laughs> where have I seen that before? Can't think where. I'm a bit of a snob with my chocolate on, yeah, so we'll, we'll just see. I'm looking but... forward to it. When you make it, it it's amazing, so let's yeah, see. Yeah, babe, if... I'm not making it, so it's not going to be great. Is that chocolate ready? It's, it, I'm ready. I'm ready. The melted chocolate is added to condensed milk, cream cheese, flour, eggs and a little coffee before being poured onto a chocolatey biscuit base. Then it's into the oven in a bain marie. I hope they don't make any mistakes with it, cos it's a nice menu and they're lovely people. Yeah. But then secretly you kind of... It's like when you see someone doing a race, you want them to trip before the finish line. <laughs> no stumbles so far, ganache added. Ruth decorates the cheesecake and will serve tonight. I think it looks amazing. I really do. You don't was proud. Thank you. Next, it's the main. A rack of lamb with dauphinoise potatoes, sautéed samphire and roasted carrots. You find lamb too fatty, don't you? It's too fatty. I don't like the taste. And I had a dog that looked like a lamb once, so I just, like, can't look at lamb because it makes us feel really sick. I hated that lamb dog. A rack of lamb. A rack of lamb. Like a rack of ribs. A, a rack of lamb has got, the, like, the ribs coming out of it like that. Like, so... like Sophie's nails. Right. <laughs> Uncanny. Because it's so nice to meat, we're going to keep it just nice and simple. Meat prepped, they'll cook it tonight. Sam fire. Yeah, same. That's probably like some sort of like posh turnip or something, isn't it? Like... Go on, help her out, Lucas. Yeah, definitely turnip. No. What's some fire? It's the green salty. <clears throat> oh, and it with salt on. You have to go uh, foraging for it. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. <laughs> so I bet you she's foraged <laughs> that. She's foraged that, yeah. <laughs> from her garden. Or possibly from her supermarket. I know it looks a little bit like seaweed, but it's quite nice, actually. You can't can you be... eat it raw, or...? You can probably eat it raw. Yeah, as long as you don't put it back afterwards. <laughs> oh! <laughs> the samphire will be sautéed tonight and be served with pigs in blankets, dauphinoise potatoes and carrots. Time to get changed, then. Come on, off your pop. <laughs>